Greetings, and thank you for joining us for another SANS ICS Concept Overview. I'm Don C. Weber of Cutaway Security and a certified SANS instructor. In this video, we will discuss using Zeek plugins and packages to analyze ICS protocol traffic in a network packet capture file. We will provide you with the script to install and configure the Zeek plugins and packages, and we will show how to analyze a packet capture file that contains a number of industrial protocols and the log files that are produced by the Zeek tool. If you enjoy this video and the topics we cover in the SANS ICS concept overviews, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment if you have a question about this topic or suggestions for future content. One of the first steps that I conduct when I'm doing a security assessment for an organization is to capture network traffic to help with my analysis of that environment. It helps us with understanding what is communicating, what network protocols are in use, what devices are out there. So it solves a lot of questions. You can use it for asset management. You can use it for just understanding vulnerabilities within your environment. If you are doing incident response, you should be able to do network captures within your control network to gather information to help you have actionable intelligence about the communications, the things that are going on within your control environment. But once we have that data, then we have to analyze it. We have to be able to pull that information out of it. Now on some of the other concept videos, I've provided a, a demonstration of how to use Wireshark and T-Shark to analyze Modbus. And we can use those same techniques. I wasn't just showing you how to do it for Modbus. I was kind of explaining how to do it for any industrial protocol. Okay. Another analysis technique that we can use is Zeek. Now, Zeek uh, it provides the capabilities of reviewing packet captures and pulling information out from, that, uh, from those uh, communications and producing a log about that, that data. And we can analyze those logs to understand which devices are communicating, where are they being initiated from, what kind of communication is going on. And this is typically, we can run these uh, within our corporate network, and we do find this running in our corporate network, people doing a network capture analysis using Zeek uh, to identify things uh, such as web traffic or database traffic and so forth. And there's a lot of analyzers that are built into Zeek around that. But what we don't usually find are analyzers and parsers that are associated with industrial protocols. Fortunately, we have a couple organizations and a couple people out there that have developed these, uh, developed these uh, um, uh, plugins and packages for Zeek to analyze industrial protocols for us. Uh, so as you can see on the screen, I, I just uh, uh, have the Zeek page called up and you can go out there for more documentation that if you like. Uh, what you can do if, uh, you know, and one of the things that I did when I started thinking about this is I just searched on Zeek and ICS uh, protocols. And what I fortunately, what I, what I found is that the uh, CISA GitHub repository does have a repository, repository called the ICS Network Protocol Parser, okay, or ICS NPP. And we can see here that they provide packages for BACnet, uh, BSAP, DNP3, ENIP, and, and Modbus. Okay? Another organization that uh, produces some of these uh, um, parsers for industrial protocols is the Amazon site. So Amazon, if you go into Amazon site and you search on Zeek, you'll see that they have in their, within their repository plugins for ENIP, Profinet, Siemens 7, BACnet. Okay, and if we install these onto our systems, now we can leverage these to do analysis on the network traffic for those protocols. Now, one of the things that's a challenge about this though is that because uh, we have to install these into, into our Zeek. We have to uh, download these, configure them correctly, and compile them. And that it actually took me a while to do that. I've been working on it for the, the last, I had this idea, I wanted to get it all set up. And it took me a couple days to figure out the different things, the different requirements associated with pulling all this together. And so just like the Linux tool, 
uh, I went out and I wrote a script. So in the cut set repo uh, cutaway security tools repository, um, there is now under the ICS folder and the uh, tool installs, we now have a Zeek installation file. Uh, right now it's only for uh, Kali. It only works on Kali. I had to do some uh, special configurations to get it work to work correctly uh, within the Z shell. Uh, but eventually, you know, as we move on, uh, we'll get this for both the Control Things uh, platform and also for a regular Ubuntu system. And if you go through here, it's just like the ICS tools that we talked about in another concept video. I uh, download the packages. We create a file, a specific folder in the tools directory called ICS-Zeek. And then we update the system and install the packages that are required to build these plugins and these packages. And then we just download from Amazon, uh, from the uh, um, uh, CISA uh, GitHub repositories, we download, download those repos, build them, and then set up the Zeek environment so that it's ready to analyze. Okay? And I've done that on this system already, and we'll see that in just a second. Okay? Now you can go out and you can download, uh, or excuse me, you can capture network traffic on your own control network and you can test this out if you like. But you can also, if you just want to test this to see what it looks like, you can go out and you can download some of the packet captures that contain industrial protocols that are provided on the internet already. There's a couple different locations, but what we've done within the control things, like GitHub, is we have this protocols directory. So if you go to the controlthings.io GitHub, uh, in the CT samples, you'll see protocols, and you'll see a number of protocols that we have uh, downloaded. And we didn't create all of these. We created some, but we download a lot of these from the internet uh, being provided by the community. And this is just a consolidation of what we found that are being provided uh, by other people out there in a central location. Now you can drill into each one of these. You can see Siemens 7, uh, OPC, Profinet. You can download these individual ones, but the majority of those contain a single protocol. You can download and analyze those, but what we're gonna use for this example is we're gonna use this combined. And in this combined folder, we can see the plant1.pcap. And this is a capture that contains a number of different industrial protocols, and I'm gonna use that for an, our example. Okay, so I downloaded this already. I already downloaded and installed uh, the Zeek from the install scripts, and you can see that here. So if we look in my uh, downloads directory, let me go. We can see that I downloaded the uh, install script. I uh, changed the permissions on it so that it would run, and I installed it. And I can just start uh, like we did before. It will confirm that you want to do it, uh, that you want to run. These are packages that are provided by other people, so you do want to make sure that you know the um, uh, these contain what you expected in there. Okay, I'm not going to run that now. I have already run that. Um, as we can see, I've also downloaded the pcap file, and so we do have the plant one, and we'll come back around and analyze that in just a second. Once I run the installer script, what it does is it goes out and it pulls those plugins and those packages. It uh, grabs all of those repos, then it configures them appropriately for Zeek. The plugins get automatically added to Zeek so that they are run whenever Zeek is run. But for packages, those have to be pointed to directly. And that's why I generated this load Zeek file. So if I cat the load Zeek file, we'll see that I'm pointing to the specific uh, package directories and it's the script directory within those repos. And by doing that, if I load those script directories, then because they've been configured correctly to run within Zeek, it will automatically load that and use that for our analysis. And we'll see how to do that in just a second. And you can see that I've, uh, cut, I've called the uh, CISA um, uh, uh, ICS NPP packages. We've uh, configured all of these and it will run those. For the Amazon uh, Zeek plugins, those are automatically compiled into Zeek. We don't have to uh, specify those specifically. 
So if I go back over to my combine file, now we have my PCAP and I want to run Zeek on that to analyze it. So I'm just going to type Zeek and then I'm going to give the CR options. So this, the capital C option is to no, ignore checksums. What happens when you do network packet captures, you might not get the full communications. In other words, the session spins up and then it gets torn down by the application that usually happens correctly. When we get a packet capture, we might not have seen that session initiation and we might not have also seen the session termination. So if we don't see that, a lot of times it's difficult to analyze that exchange of information because we don't have one or both ends of uh, the exchange. Okay, and so this helps by ignoring the checksum, this helps to uh, compensate for that. Uh, the dash R command is just to say, hey, I want to use, I want you to read this PCAP file. Okay, and then we need to point it to the last option is going to be that load.zeek file, which tells Zeek where to find all the plugins. So if I run this, and we are going to get some warnings because some of these uh, packages are a little bit older. They were built for Bro, which was the old version of Zinc. It's been, Zeek. It's been updated. And so eventually we're going to have to come around. Either the uh, maintainers for this project are going to have to update it to Zeek, or we're going to need a volunteer to go in and do that for us. But right now everything runs well. And if I do a listing, we're going to see that we have a number of newly created log files. Okay, now the normal log files that you would see, you would see connection logs, you would see NTLM logs, packet filter logs. Okay, but if you look closely, you'll notice that now we have a lot of logs that are associated with our industrial protocols. We have SIP logs, we have ENIP logs, Modbus. So normally the if you didn't have any packages or plugins installed, Zeek would provide you with a Modbus log. But because uh, the uh, CISA um, uh, packages, uh, they provide a, another Modbus analyzer. And as we can see here, that's, uh, that has produced the Modbus underscore detail.log file. Okay, Siemens, we see Siemens here as well. So you can go and analyze those. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of take a look at the SIP. So we'll use Vim's view file and just take a look at the SIP doc log file. And now we can see that the log file contains uh, information about each one of the connections that were within that packet capture, okay? And associated specifically with this protocols. Uh, the first couple of lines are just our header file and basically this is just telling uh, us that it is a bro log file it's or excuse me a zeek log file and it's giving us the uh, field information because each one of these log files is going to have a slightly different formatting uh, and then we can see all of the communications in these lines down here now if you want to do additional analysis on this you can either cut and parse this yourself using your scripting skills uh, or you can and you should be familiar with the Zeek logging capabilities. And what this is, is if you go out to the Zeek's uh, documentation, you can look at their logging documentation and learn how to work with the Zeek logs. So you can go through here and get a better understanding of the Zeek log headers. And then you can learn how to use tools like Zeek Cut to pull out specific fields that you're interested in and really drill into the information that's in these log files. Okay, so in a final thought, pulling valuable information and actionable intelligence out of our industrial or out of our network captures related to our control process, related to industrial controls, can be challenging at times. And so what we need to do is we need to be familiar with the tools that are going to speed up that analysis, speed up that gathering of information, whether it's for asset management, whether it's for incident response, whether it's for vulnerability management. If we use our tools correctly, we can gather that information and we can make it a lot easier on our teams to understand risk and respond to events. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to another Concept Overview. 
with the SANS ICS and Cutaway Security teams. Please let us know if there are other topics you would like us to cover in the comments below. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to like and subscribe to the SANS ICS YouTube channel. This has been Don C. Weber of Cutaway Security. Go forth and do good things.